Welcome back to the fourth video on the creature tournament. We're going to be doing rounds four and five here because we only have four out of the eight groupings still going. The four groupings having a few more matches than the others. We'll just take a look at the brackets now. So you can see here we have the giant versus thief, vampire versus thief, archer versus demon spawn, orc versus demon spawn, mistress versus the knight, druid versus the knight, wizard versus the tentacle, and warlock versus the tentacle. And then just so we can remember what we have to go at, I'll put that up on the screen there. So we'll do the knight versus the thief first. Thief there does have the uh, protection. Knight uh, Giant has the speed, which he gains at level 10. Looks like the Thief has quite high dexterity, missing quite a bit. But the Giant has finished him off quite quickly. Got the Horned Reaper in here to finish him off. Next up, we have the Archer versus the Demon Spawn. This should be quite an interesting one, since both of these do come in the same sort of level range in the campaign. Um, both have ranged. The demon spawn does have a heal and he does have that guided missile which the archer also has. And it looks like he's trying to close the gap here. He does need to get close so we can use that melee ability but the archer is doing a much better job than he did last time of kiting the uh, demon spawn with that slow. He is backed into a corner now. Let's see if he actually manages to get out of the way of it. So demon spawn is on low. He needs to heal. He has healed up. Archer is still kiting him. He needs to get another slow out there so the demon spawn won't stay on him. Could be a long battle this one. I'm sure we've seen this sort of fight when we're doing the campaign ourselves. Prior to those demon spawns leveling up to a dragon at level f uh, 10. They move up to a level 5 dragon. He has got that slow out there now. They're both looking low. Depends whether he's going to get that heal off again. Can he get another hit in and finish him off? Can he get a win? Well done. Well done with two, two bits of health left. Well done. Next up we have the mistress versus the knight. Now this will be interesting. Both very, very powerful. Knight has a much larger uh, HP pool at 950 versus the, the mistress's... Um, you can't see it, but I'll, I'll find it in a second. Let's get these in here. Mistress does have that lightning, which she'll prefer to use, and that speed. Knight has put protection on himself there. I think it's protection. Yeah, protect, he gets out at level 3. Mistress doing a very good job of kiting the knight around. He's not actually able to get any hits in. That speed is doing wonders. He's, he, has, he is using that heal. But that mistress is just getting it out there. And she might actually get the win. Brilliant, brilliant. I thought just due to that HP and cost difference, the mistress would really have that win there. Next up, we'll have the Warlock versus the Tentacle. Now, if you remember, this Tentacle's very slow moving, and the Warlock does have a heal spell. Tentacle does have Freeze, though, which you can use to, to close that gap. Now, if you remember in our last fight, Wizard versus Warlock, the Warlock did use Invisibility to try and get out there. He's used that heal there, which he didn't last time. There's that Word of Power, Word of... Uh, power yet. Does a lot of damage. Pushes him back. He does have Meteor to push him back as well, but looks like the Tentacle's going to get this win with that freeze. Well done. Now, the Tentacle is a much higher tier uh, creature than the Warlock. You get much later on in the uh, round. So now we have the Vampire versus Thief. Vampire does have that drain. Prefers to use that long range. Thief very early on unit. I think this is going to be quite a one-sided fight here. Looks like that thief does have slow slowing down that attack, but the vampire's got it quite easily, to be honest. Next, we have the orc versus demon spawn. 
quite interested in seeing how this one goes since neither uh, the, the orcs a higher tier unit but he doesn't have um the heal so we'll see how that goes the orc being a later creature you get in the campaign much better combatant but that like we said that demon spawn does have the heal wow that was a hell of a hit there by the orc easily done easily done that's a that's a heavy win there by the the orc and i think that might be a bracket win for him actually we have the druid versus the knight wait for the horned reaper to finish off the orc now we have the druid versus the knight it's quite interesting the druid does have uh, a multitude of spells so let's see what it does the knight didn't do too well against the mistress he has rebounded that freeze which the wizards got uh, the druid's got and is he going to go down he just goes down in one in one go there that was a a really good spell reflect there by the the knight um I thought it'd be a, I thought it'd actually go on a little bit longer than that, but it turns out that all it takes is one spell reflect and then that's it, they can't do anything. Now finally we have the wizard versus the tentacle. So the wizard does have that reflect and he freezes himself. Well done. Now he's constantly casting really good backliner. And I, I think that tentacle is going to struggle to get over to him. What with those meteors knocking him back and freezes and slows. I don't think he's actually going to be able to get to the wizard. Oh, he's, he's managed to get a freeze in there. Can the tentacle do anything with this? The wizard is very weak. And he's, he's got into melee. Oh, he's frozen him again. Wow, very interesting. Figured since we only have one round left, four more battles, we'll finish it off in this video as well. So we have the giant versus the tunneler. That's the blonde one and the giant there. Now both of these do feature quite early in the campaign. Both have relatively low number of spells. We've got the speed there with the tunneler and the giant's just sheer might and strength finished him off. Next up, we have the Archer versus Ghost. We saw quite a good show in there from the Archer last time. So we'll see how he does against uh, the Ghost, which is a higher tier unit, but isn't known for its uh, strength in combat. So we'll see how that goes. So he's tried to put slow on the Ghost, but it did get a reflect out there. So he's now slowed. Looks like the Ghost is doing that drain on him and has actually managed to take the archer out. Next up we have the mistress versus the monk. So this should be quite a, a long ranged one. I think the monk does prefer to stay ranged uh, and so does the mistress. So we'll see how that goes. Now the mistress does have much higher damage but the monk does have that heal. Put a slow on the mistress there and unfortunately that heal wasn't enough, nor did that slow make a difference. And last but not least is the Hellhound versus the Warlock. Uh, so, the Hellhound had some surprises this time round, so we'll see how he does against this Warlock. With the power, but his speed does overcome it. He is taking some damage, he's behind in the damage, but he is up close now. Got a heavy hit off there, and he's just irked it out. This Hellhound has done very well. Seems to win all of his battles with just a few slivers of HP left. So we'll move over to the brackets and have a look at how they've finished. So it turns out I didn't need to make an Excel spreadsheet anyway. These brackets do already update. And I've got a few surprises in here. We've got the Orc in here. Didn't think he would be in this final knockout section of the competition fairy which we already knew about barbarian we already knew about that mistress quite a surprising one considering how tough that bracket c was hellhound very surprised i saw this with the wizard and warlock in there really thought they had a good shot the wizard probably irking it out but the hellhounds just dominated all of them witch in there samurai in there and the vampire i think that was expected for the vampire 
Um, I did expect to see the knight in there. It's quite interesting he's not in there, considering he's known as the Lord of the Land. So we'll see how that goes. So thinking about predictions for this, Samurai versus Vampire. I'm going to have to give that to the Vampire. Witch versus Hellhound. That could be a counter for the Witch, since the Hellhound is so fast. However, the Witch does have that gust. Um, and she does have a number of other spells. I think she has slow at least in there. Mistress versus Barbarian. I think Mistress is going to get that. The damage output on Mistress is extremely high. Fairy versus Orc. If the Orc can manage to get to her and keep and get a good hit like he did against um, the Demon Spawn, then he'll take her out because they've got such a small health pool down at 300. Um, down at 150, sorry, for the Fairy. Um, but she does have a lot of spells, so I think that's going to get quite interesting, and we'll have a look at these in the next video. That's it for now.